So in this lab, we are going to be configuring uh, product attributes. The main, uh, main use of product attributes is around uh, using them as a refiners at uh, the product category pages on our e-commerce portal. So in order to create attributes, first we will be creating attribute types. So in the search bar, we're going to search attribute types. And <clears throat> for the lab, we're going to create two types of attributes. One is called backpack usage. So I have already created the backpack usage. So you will be creating a new backpack usage uh, attribute type, uh, type text and the figs list. Yes. Yeah. So this is an attribute of type text and it would be having fixed list values, which is backpacking, day trip hiking, mountaineering and travel. Similarly, you'll be creating one more uh, uh, attribute type, which is called frame type. So I have already created uh, this type as well. So this frame type could be internal, external or frameless. And this is also type text and fixed list. Once we have created the types, we can then go about creating the attributes. So for that, we'll go to the attributes form. And here I'll create a new attribute called backpack usage. Because I've already created it, I'm gonna be taking you through what I've already created. So a backpack usage attribute has been created. And <clears throat> Here, uh, I have used the backpack uses attribute type and few things to uh, make sure as uh, they can be refined to should be turned yes, searchable and retrieval should be yes. And here, if you click on the filter settings, you would need to go and make it a uh, multi value uh, display control list. This is going to be a uh, 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 applicable mainly on the point of sale. Similarly, we are going to create uh, one more uh, attribute called frame type. So frame type is using frame type and then the default value is internal can be refined is set to yes filter settings and it should be multi value as well. So both these have been defined. Now we are going to create an attribute group where we are going to tie these two attributes together. So in the attribute groups, we are going to create a new attribute groups called uh, backpack. Okay. And here in the attributes, I'm going to add our backpack so we're going to use the backpack usage and then frame type so frame type attribute so these are the two attributes that we created and these are both selected and then click OK and now we have created um, an attribute called backpack. Now, uh, what we would be doing is we would be associating this uh, attribute group to the product hierarchy. So we'll go to commerce product hierarchy. And we will go to camping and hiking node that we created in previous lab and we will go to backpacking packs and here if you scroll down at the category level we can add the product attribute group so here we can see this is the attribute group that we just created is showing up and it is also showing me what attributes does this attribute group have so i'm going to click select and click okay 
So now this backpack attribute group has been associated with backpacking packs category uh, hierarchy node. So with that, um, um, all the items that are belonging to backpacking packs would start to have this uh, set of attributes associated with them. So you can create as many different attributes as you need for your customer scenarios, but for the purpose of this lab, this is what we would be doing for the PRUC attributes.